The War of Troy, A Tale of Love, Betrayal, and Destiny. Chapter 1, The Prophecy. In the ancient city of Troy, high atop the towering walls, King Priam and Queen Hecuba rejoiced at the birth of their son, Paris. Yet, their joy was short-lived, for a shadow of destiny loomed over the child's head. An ominous prophecy foretold that Paris would ruin the city he called home. Desperate to prevent this grim fate, Priam ordered the infant Paris to be left on a lonely mountainside, where he would be abandoned to the cruel whims of fate. But the gods had other plans for the young prince. Chapter 2, The Shepherd's Care As night fell on the mountainside, a kindly shepherd named Agelos discovered the infant Paris, abandoned and left to die. His heart brimming with compassion, Agelos decided to raise the child as his own, far from the prying eyes of Troy. Years passed, and Paris grew into a handsome, skilled young man, blissfully unaware of his true heritage. He lived a simple life, herding sheep and cherishing the love and guidance of his adoptive father. Chapter 3 the Judgment of Paris, or, The Seduction of Helen. Aphrodite fulfilled her promise, and the consequences were swift and devastating. Helen, Sparta's renowned beauty and queen, was struck by an irresistible attraction to Paris, a man she had never met. Abandoning her husband, King Menelaus, and her homeland, she embarked on a perilous journey to Troy to be with her newfound love. Chapter 5 the gathering storm. As news of Helen's disappearance reached Sparta, King Menelaus was overcome with rage and despair. He called upon his brother, the powerful King Agamemnon, and other Greek leaders to assemble a mighty army. Together, they vowed to retrieve Helen and exact vengeance upon the Trojans for the insult to their honor. Chapter 6, The Greeks Set Sail. The Greek Armada, led by the mighty warrior Achilles, set sail for Troy. A thousand ships filled with warriors, archers, and cunning strategists descended upon the city's shores. The Trojan War had begun. Chapter 7, The Heroes of Troy. As the war raged on, heroes on both sides emerged. Hector, the noble prince of Troy and Paris's older brother, fought valiantly to defend his homeland. Meanwhile, Odysseus, the cunning strategist, devised ingenious tactics to break the stalemate. The seer Cassandra, blessed with the gift of prophecy but cursed never to be believed, warned of the impending doom that hung over Troy. Chapter 8, The Wrath of Achilles The turning point of the war came with the re-entry of Achilles into the battle. Driven by rage and grief over the death of his dear friend Patroclus at the hands of Hector, Achilles rejoined the fight with a vengeance. His duel with Hector would become one of the most legendary clashes in the annals of history. Chapter 9, The Wooden Horse After a decade of brutal warfare and countless lives lost, the Greeks hatched a daring and cunning plan to infiltrate the seemingly impregnable walls of Troy. They constructed a massive wooden horse as a gift to the Trojans, a symbol of peace. Concealed within the hollow belly of the horse were elite Greek warriors, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. As the Trojans celebrated their perceived victory and brought the wooden horse inside the city walls, they unknowingly sealed their doom. Chapter 10, The Fall of Troy Under darkness, the Greek warriors emerged from their hiding place within the wooden horse. They opened the gates of Troy, allowing the Greek army to pour into the unsuspecting city. Troy was engulfed in flames as the Greeks looted and destroyed. Hector and Achilles engaged in a final, epic battle in the city's heart. Both warriors fought with unparalleled skill and bravery, but Achilles emerged victorious. With the death of Hector, the fate of Troy was sealed. Chapter 11, The Tragic Aftermath Troy lay in ruins, its once proud walls shattered, and its people slaughtered or enslaved. The Greeks sailed home, but their journey was marred by tragedy and misfortune. Achilles met his tragic end, struck by an arrow in his heel, the one vulnerable spot on his invulnerable body. Epilogue, the end of an era. 
The War of Troy ended, leaving a trail of sorrow and destruction. Troy may have fallen, but its story lived on through the ages, a testament to the enduring power of love, betrayal, and the inevitable hand of destiny. In the centuries that followed, poets and bards would sing of the heroic deeds and tragic losses of that time, and, the War of Troy, would remain a timeless epic, a story of mortal folly and divine manipulation, a tale of love, betrayal, and destiny that would continue to captivate hearts and minds for generations to come.